This episode is presented by MLB The Show 20, only on PlayStation. Rated E for everyone. Imagine a world where a deadly virus causes a complete breakdown of society. Where essential services collapse under the weight of a massive pandemic that no one was prepared for. And major cities are taken over by lawless gangs fighting over the scraps. Is this a preview of like one month from now? Or is it a $30 expansion? Only time will tell. The Division II, Warlords of New York. Playthrough, a vision of the apocalypse that seems a lot more realistic now that E3 got shut down by coronavirus. As you return to the Division's loose justification for making a cover shooter set in actual US cities. With an expansion set in the same one from the first game, but smaller this time? Where you'll finally go after the antagonist of The Division 1 after following his tracks for the entire sequel. Once you've taken down his four-pack of lieutenants like you're playing Mega Man. Through a heaping helping of the same old gameplay, but with slightly higher numbers. In an expansion that will make you say, yep, this sure is more The Division 2. Blast your way through the seemingly endless hordes of gun-toting ne'er-do-wells the Division 2 throws your way in the tried-and-true cover-shooting gunplay that is the core of the experience, where you'll throw out your handful of wacky future gadgets because realism is for losers. Like, what is the in-world explanation for this healing drone? Is it just constantly shooting me with syringes? Then, do your best to avoid getting flanked by the AI trying to burn you to death until you cobble together enough ammo to use your special big boy gun to blurp out the insane amount of bullets you need to take down a single dude. In a clash between RPG elements and making any damn sense that raising the level cap is starting to put a real strain on. Seriously, bullet sponge is no longer an accurate term for these endgame dudes. These guys are bullet beach towels. Discover the handful of changes Warlords brings to the Division formula besides the mandatory longer stick for the carrot, with new old enemies returning from the first game to have their back-mounted gas tanks blown up. More unique and interesting loot to ignore in favor of the biggest LMG you can find. Bigger boss fights with mechanics other than shoot guys. A revamped Dark Zone that actually makes it worth it to PvP. And some loot tinkering options that make it easier than ever to min-max your gear which you're definitely going to need to even make a dent on Legendary difficulty. Ugh, what's with all the statistics? I just put on the stuff that has the green arrows going up. I want to play video games, not do the estate planning for a doomsday prepper. So buy up that toilet paper and seal yourself in a quarantine bunker with a hot, fresh pile of division as you blast away your fears like so many hapless mooks and hope against hope that the only thing you catch is the dollar flu in the most ironically detached video game experience you could possibly have at this very moment. Ah, truly, a game for our times. Starring Burnout Family Stealthy and Healthy Watch Dogs 2 protagonist Agent Edgelord A Merc and Badass and COVID-20 Price Edition 2, some more New York. You know, in a real pandemic, being a gamer becomes like a superpower. What, you mean I can't leave my house for months? So, just the way I live normally then. Perfect. This episode was brought to you by MLB The Show 20. Available March 17th, only on PlayStation. Rated E for everyone. EA Sports, it's only half of the game. I, Giorno Giovanna, have a dream. Falcon Punch! Okay, I believe you. You can't have slaughter without laughter. <laughs>